if not for coronavirus, would President Trump, do you think, would have been reelected and would he possibly have been reelected in a landslide? No, I don't. I don't think so at all. Um, I think the coronavirus really was just the cherry on top of the cake. Uh, look, I, I, I think President Trump would have had a much better chance of being reelected if he wasn't so arrogant and so demeaning to so many people all the time. Uh, I don't happen to like his policies, but um, the truth is, in my opinion, there are enough people that might have liked him or tolerated it, and a lot of people don't like some Democratic potentials. I get that. But let's be honest, I, I don't know any other way to say it, but most people I know thought he was a jerk. Even people who voted for him and supported him thought he was a jerk, but they got over this. They say, yeah, he's a jerk, but I don't like this, that, and the other thing. Um, and I, I actually think he would have been a much, much even tighter election, and maybe President Trump could have survived if he just wasn't so demeaning and mean and belittling to so many people over four years. Right from the get-go, if he had given the speech that Joe Biden just gave yesterday when he got elected, even if he didn't mean it, saying, I'm going to try to represent everybody and welcome everybody and I love everybody, he, he, um, I'd like to hope that, that people mean it when they say that. I think most everybody does. But he didn't even try. Uh, so that I think a lot of people just well, were it, done it, with it. To, to that point, though, too, it, it, we still haven't heard from the president in any form of concession, any form of congratulations, any form of America's great, nearly 150 million people turned out to vote. We, we haven't heard from the president on that front I, either. I, I, my only response is I don't care. I mean, I, who cares what he has to say anymore? I mean, it's last I heard, he's still tweeting, thinking everybody stole everything on everybody. And, you know, and look, I, there's a, some small part of me that feels sorry for the guy. I mean, he, there must have been something bad in his life or his childhood or something that, that just made him dislike most people and think that he's the God's savior to the world. And, and, and again, everybody in politics has to have an ego. You cannot put your name out there and get beaten up every day unless you feel pretty good about yourself. Um, but I've never seen anything like this. And honestly, I'm amongst those people. I just want it over. And I, I just want to move on. And I'm glad it's Joe Biden, but I just want to move on. And I, I'm, I'm particularly happy that the new normal is not the divisiveness that we've seen for the last four years. That at least we'll go back to the old normal to a certain extent, which is still messy. It's still difficult. It's still partisan. Mm -hmm. It's still divided. But at least there are certain norms within which most people will try to respect the opinions of other people. Um, I can't let you go without asking you this last question. Uh, as you sort of watch what's unfolding across the country right now, are you relieved or are you regretful that you're not in the thick of it anymore? I don't know that either one of those terms apply to me. I, I, I've always, I never planned on going into politics for me. It just was something that that's where life led me and I took the path. Um, I don't miss it to a certain extent. I'm, I particularly don't miss the fact that I have to be out every night and on weekends and can't do all my family, I, I kind of like that. Um, I was never really big on the ribbon cutting type of things all my life. I did them all, but I never really liked it. Um, so for me, I, I don't know that I'm relieved or, 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 or not, but I'm, I'm really happy with what I'm doing now, practicing law with Foley and Laudner and um, having a little bit more free time in my life. And honestly, until I was out, I didn't realize how tired I was. Um, you both know me reasonably well. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'd be a surprise to you. You knew I was fighting with everybody for 40 years, uh, trying to push an agenda that I believed in. And after 40 years of, of fighting every single day to push a rock uphill, um, it's nice to be able to take a little bit, a little bit distant view of it. So uh, I don't know that I'm relieved. I'm happy. I'm, I'm really glad people are still doing it. I'm really glad the country came together and voted so overwhelmingly. I'm really glad with the turn, happy with the turnout. And I really am engaged with trying to move the country forward still, just from a different way that maybe allows me a little bit more personal freedom than maybe I had before. It's good well, now, we're Mike. relieved that you came here this Yeah, right, right, exactly. <laughs> and it's a good thing, Mike. You can worry about the Patriots now. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, well, I'm kind of, I hate to tell you, I, 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 I haven't given up on them, but... Um, I'm into the mode that I believe it's a rebuilding year. <laughs> I, I think you're going into dangerous territory Great. here, Eddie, for the first Great time. Great to see you, Mike. Thanks for coming in.